welcome back to my channel. So for today, we are going to learn about new topics. This topic is properties of complexes and it is actually related to the coordination compound, uh, the valence bond theory, the crystal field theory and also the isomerism that we have learned uh, before this. So let's start. So in this topic, we have three uh, presentation outline. First one is the spectrochemical series of ligands. Uh, and then second one is the magnetism. And third one is the colored compound. So the introduction for this uh, topic about color. Okay, as you can see, uh, why sunlight is a white color? Why? Because it absorbs all the frequencies in visible region. So from here, this is uh, the visible region start from the 400 nanometer until 750 nanometer. For example, let's say we have a green object. Okay, For example, we have green object here. It actually absorbs all light and also uh, this combination of colors will give or will reflect the object as a green and then the com complementary color it also reflects and also absorb for example here we have chlorophylls where, it, uh, where these chlorophylls absorb uh, red and also appear green so in this uh, spectrum this is what we call color spectrum so you need to remember this uh, violet actually exists between 400 to 430 nanometer the blue uh, color between 430 until 480 uh, nanometer and then the green one 480 until 560 nanometer followed by yellow between uh, 560 and until 590 and then orange 590 until 630 and last but not least this is red okay 630 until 750 so from 400 to 750 nanometer this is where we have the visible region so for the color of transition metals so what we have here diverse ion compound color of coordination are actually determined by the delta difference between T2G and also EG level. So this is what we have learned during crystal field theory. So the difference uh, energy level between the T2G and EG we call it as delta and this value actually will reflect or will give the color of the transition metal. So uh, this metal ion will absorb light okay in visible range so what happened here because we have I, uh, electron so the electron will excite or jump to uh, from lower energy t2g to the higher energy level eg so when this excitation happen okay you can um, determine the difference or uh, of the delta and it will give you okay what what uh, is the color of the transition metal. So the difference between two electronic uh, energy level here which is uh, sorry which are uh, T 2G and also EG okay this is what we call delta energy electron or it, it is similar to the energy photon equals to the H mu and equals to the H C over lambda the delta difference between the t2g and also eg the okay right so for example here you will need to have the energy right and then you have the t2g and also the eg this is for octahedral right so this is the eg the difference between the T2G and the EG here will give you the delta. Okay. So if you have a large value of this delta, it will give you what we call low spin complex. Okay. So higher delta. Let's say you have a lower value of delta, it will give you high spin com complex. 
right so here we have the e equals to h mu where the mu is actually c over lam, lambda right and then uh, an intriguing and also beautiful aspect of uh, transition metal chemistry is the multitude of colors because we are dealing or playing with the transition metals so one of the properties one of the properties that the transition metal uh, transition metals have here is the color because of the existence of the d orbital or we call it as empty d orbital okay this is what we have learned before this and you need to uh, understand of the d orbital splitting this is what we have discussed during the crystal field splitting energy and then uh, and this d orbital splitting can explain why the coordination compounds have different colors okay and third one the visible light between the four uh, between 400 to 700 nanometer or known as visible region is a uh, composed of radiation with uh, wavelengths okay and uh, i have an, uh, an example here an apple uh, appears as red color because of the pigments of the apple skin absorb blue and also green light and not red color so what happened here okay as you uh, from the from this color spectrum it appears as red okay and then what happened here it absorbs blue and also green okay it absorbs blue and also green and and reflects the color as red so what can you uh, do for this color spectrum okay you need to see or you need to find the opposite color of the absorbed light okay for example uh, it absorbs blue and also green it appears red okay and then let's say for example here uh, it appears as yellow it absorb by violet okay here this is a spectrum okay or we call it as absorption band or you can call it as absorption spectrum okay for example here this is uh, where we have a solution okay or sample solution here and then uh, we have a glowing filament that will give you the light okay and this uh, light is passed through the prism or diffraction grafting and passed through the sample okay pass through the transfer and transmit the light and it will form or it will give you absorption band from this band, you need to be able to analyze, okay, why this one um, flat and why this one we have peak here, okay. So, um, the light in certain frequencies is absorbed, okay. At the peak here, okay, we have green and also blue. This is what the sample actually absorb okay these two color green and also blue because we have highest peak here because this is where the highest peak appeared okay and then uh, while the other frequencies are not okay so which frequency that this sample actually um, um, does not absorb okay all right as you can see we have a flat here flat line here this is where you have the red color or red light okay all right so what happened here it absorbed green and also uh, blue and appears as red so the sample above will appear red okay so this is actually a red sample right so uh, other than that okay so what happened here we pass through the light okay to the samples which is a metal complex or coordination compound here Okay, for example, it has one electron. So, this electron absorbs the light. Okay, and then, okay, in this case, it absorbs the green and also yellow. 
So when it absorbs, it will become unstable and start to jump to the higher ve value. In this case, from T2G to the e, EG. And then it start to transmit the lambda or the color, whether the, okay, in this case, it will uh, reflect the color of blue or violet. Okay, because it jump, okay, it jumps from lower energy to the higher eh, energy. So in this case, uh, blue or violet color. Okay, not uh, as orange or red. For example, here we have um, hexa aqua titanium three. Okay, uh, ion complex ion. So it actually appears uh, as purple in aqueous means that we dissolve this titanium 3 in water and then it has D1 okay D1 in T2G um, level okay for example here let's draw the structure of this compound so you have 6 uh, water H2O And don't forget to include the charge, 3 plus. So this is where we have uh, titanium as D1, 3D1. So when you draw the orbital of this uh, complex, this is the energy. And you know that this is a, an octahedral complex ion. Okay. So you have the T2G here, EG, and we have only one, okay, this is one, 3D1, and then other than that, you need to uh, check, okay, what is the ligand, in this case we have H2O water, so this is a weak ligand, okay, weak ligand. So what happened here, it appears as purple and because we have weak field ligand, right? So what happened here, the color absorbed is actually green and yellow. How? You need to refer to the color spectrum. Because it absorbed uh, green and also yellow, it will transmit okay, itself as per purple. For example, here it absorbs a green and also yellow. It absorbs green and also yellow, and it appears as pa violet or purple. Okay. So in this case, we have two factors that actually affect the color of the uh, transition metals. Okay, so the energy absorbed light to the delta values. Okay, we have two factors. First one, if you uh, first one given the same ligand, given ligand. Okay, color actually depends on the oxidation state of the metal ion. So, for example, here we have uh, hexa aqua vanadium 3 and also hexa aqua vanadium 2. Okay, first is the 3 plus, and also this one is a 2 plus because they have different oxidation state of the metals. Okay, so first one it will appear as violet, while for the second one it will appear as ye yellow. Okay, because of the different number of oxidation state. Okay, second one, given metal ion, so means here that you have a same uh, metal. Okay, color actually depends on ligand. Okay, type of ligand. Okay, so for example here, uh, first one, you have uh, ammonia or amine, amine here, and then second one we have ammonia and also chlorine. Okay, so what happened here? First one, it will appear as yellow to orange, yellow orange, and the second one, it will appear as per purple. 
Why? Okay, because this one ammonia or amine, this one uh, it can be considered as a strong ligand. While for the second one, this is where we have the combination between the strong ligand and also weak weak ligand. All right. So I think uh, that's all for this part one for the properties of metal complexes. So if you like this video. Please don't forget to give a comment and also subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you guys in part 2. Bye!